I'm Adam Brian Dada, and this is the Low Reward Living video series. Are you here on YouTube because you want to learn? Are you here because you need some motivation? Are you visiting YouTube because you want to pick up new skills? Well, you're on the wrong website. You're on the wrong medium. You're actually paying attention to the wrong person or persons. Everything that happens on this website is consumer minded. Producers are here to take advantage of your voluntary time so they can profit. And consumers come here to feel good, to get a little high, a little fix. You're basically crackheads. I'm here to try and help a few people change that. But the reality is, is that 80% of society always will be crackheads for cheese and bread and circuses. My videos don't have cool animated logos. We don't have really a brand name other than my name. We don't have music in the background or sound effects. We don't have quick cuts and edits and ramping and neat special effects. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you to click this link here or subscribe below or hit the bell because I, while I'd like you to do that, it's actually taking away from your life. It's also true of any online or real life method of learning, in fact. You go to school, go to university, take some courses, read a book about rich dads and poor dads, and in the end, you are only more captivated as a consumer, whereas you're not actually richer. You're not actually more skilled. You become more skilled when you go out and you turn off the TV and the YouTubes and the social media and the porn and the junk food and go out and actually do something. If you're on YouTube because you want to learn a skill, turn it off and go out and do it and post it to YouTube, even if it's terrible quality, like my videos are, because you're going to get criticism from armchair quarterback consumers who are going to do nothing with their lives. But that criticism is a form of them interacting with you, of them volunteering their time freely for your profit and learning. The producer actually learns not by mimicking famous people. The producer learns by making mistakes. And you only make mistakes when you get out and try. If you haven't done that, then you're throwing away your life for the enrichment of someone who's actually a better producer than you. You will not get skills on YouTube. You will not learn lessons on YouTube. You will not become a better man from YouTube. If you are subscribed to videos with neat spinning logos and cool edits and amazing lighting and sound and very attractive people that you and I are not, those people are taking from you and you're giving it to them voluntarily. I would suggest hitting the subscriptions button on your app and unsubscribing from all of it. Watch it all. Do they use a cool logo? Do they have their own little theme song? Do they have a nice brand name? Are they really attractive people? Just dump them. You don't need them. They're just making you happy temporarily. And then when the show is over, they leave you feeling a little lower for yourself because you are not him. You are not her. You will never have her as long as you are sitting there and watching this website. I'd like you to stick around and watch more of my videos, not because I actually want to make a profit from you. Financially, I've developed the Low Reward Living series because I want to find more guy friends who aren't losers addicted to some YouTube daydream that they're never going to accomplish. The kind of guys who want to go out and do something, maybe throw a frisbee with me today on this beautiful Sunday morning. Maybe someone who wants to come sail with me on my sailboat and do something. Bring a couple of girls with Dump, jump into the cool water, go snorkeling, catch a fish, fillet it and grill it. That's my kind of life. 
if you sit here and you watch sailing videos of cute couples on very expensive boats who are getting free gear from the suppliers making it, then you are throwing your life away for a dream that is not going to happen. How long have you been watching YouTube and daydreaming about success? Years? Some of you a decade, 13 years? And what better are you for it? If you wanted to become a filmmaker, or you wanted to become a traveler, or you wanted to become a chef, go out and do it. Grab your phone, no matter how old it is, or your camera, no matter how low resolution it is, and make a movie. Go hop on a bus to a part of town or a neighboring town you've never been before and record your travels. Go grab whatever you have in your pantry that you've bought and never used because you thought you were gonna use it one day for your cooking show and cook something with that crappy old cell phone. Do it. Stop daydreaming. Stop watching YouTube. Unsubscribe from your heroes because they're not your heroes. They are the people that are making you a zero. By feeding you the form of their success that makes you feel like you're successful with them. And you don't need these people in your life. These are not good people. These are profiteers. They're producers. Even though they might pu publish your favorite political hashtag statement and support, they are there making logos, using music, cool emojis, awesome editing and animation in order to get your brain hooked on their brand. The enemy is you not them. But the fact that you can't unsubscribe from them even for two weeks is proof that you're addicted. So try it out. Hit the subscriptions button, not the subscribe button. Hit the subscriptions button. On, your, on my phone, it's down at the middle bottom. And go over all your subscriptions and see. Are they too attractive for reality? Do they have a fancy logo that they likely didn't create? Do they have music that they bought from someone? Are they profiting from it? Do they have too many ads? If this is the case, these are people that you need to unsubscribe for for only two weeks. Two weeks. Write it down on your calendar. I subscribed from these beautiful, amazing, successful YouTube vloggers, and I'm gonna resubscribe to them in two weeks. And if you can't go two weeks without them, then you have a problem. In those two weeks, you will grab your phone or your camera, you will create a very low quality video likely without editing. You're just gonna do what I'm doing in stream of consciousness. You're gonna cook or you're gonna travel or you're going to film a short movie with no script. You're gonna publish it and you're gonna share your link or channel or whatever down below in the comments and you're gonna say, someone please come and roast me. Tell me what I did wrong. And the people who will come in are probably consumer daydreamers who think that they could do better but haven't done anything with their life. That's the first step for lower reward living is to replace high reward living with an act that takes a little bit more time, involves a little bit more risk, risk costs a little bit more money, and produces a product that others can possibly consume. And I would really like to see your product. And I don't want you to become addicted to my channel. You're welcome to subscribe or not subscribe. Click the bell, don't click the bell. Remember who I am, don't remember who I am. My goal isn't that the suckers watch me. My goal is to meet other guys who are like me. Guys who wanna get off the internet and stop daydreaming and actually do something with our lives that makes us better people versus trying to be yet another permanent student, always looking for another skill to try and fill the empty hole inside. If you have questions about the low reward living video series, start on episode 1A, but not today. Write it down on a post-it note and come back in a couple of days. My goal here isn't for you to binge consume my videos. If you are a Patreon supporter, know that I only do that not to give you new stuff, my Patreons are people who have profited from my guidance for years. I don't want a dollar from you until you've made $100 more for yourself because of something I taught you or told you. Because of some new habit you formed that isn't an addictive consumer hedonistic nonsense habit. So please do not click the Patreon link to support me until you've gotten to the point where you've made at least 200 bucks. Then you could support me for one month at $2, but no more. 
I don't want your money until you've made a lot of money. I don't want your money until you've saved yourself a lot of money because you've broken some of those high reward consumer addictions and habits. As usual, I'm Adam Brian Dada, and this is the Low Reward Living video series.